The information below is meant to help starseeds, indigos, and awakening humans understand that no otherworldly enlightened being or extraterrestrial race should ever be seen as better or more important than yourself. It's best to follow the rules of the law of one as a way of life and know that this is a requirement for getting ready for enlightened contact. As the density locks open throughout the dimensions because of recent planetary activations, this means that we might be able to talk to a variety of enlightened beings from other dimensions. This will start the next stage of our planet's liberation. The Guardian host is worried about angelic humans who haven't been told enough about how important it is to get rid of negative ego and build emotional competence, as well as how much spiritual maturity is needed to deal with contact from their direct spiritual family lineages in the right way. So, it's important for humans on Earth who will be contacted by their star family or related lineages in the future to have a basic understanding of guardian protocols and the mental and emotional maturity they need to stay stable and personally competent enough to have productive communication with their star family or related lineages to get ready to interact or communicate with benevolent non-human beings from other worlds we need to be grounded in embodied self-love self-acceptance and the commitment to personal responsibility that is needed to maintain personal sovereignty we should have a good idea of what it takes to make things happen in this world including ethical principles responsible co-creation and wisdom and maturity gained from real life experiences to be an acting guardian representative a person would have to be loving stable and competent as well as able to judge and control their own emotions people like this avoid showing signs of delusions of grandeur messiah complex superior elitist thought forms and addiction tendencies they do this because they know that hero savior complexes and self delusions are dangerous to mental and emotional health and can cause it to go downhill quickly acting as an ambassador or liaison for interstellar communication and being open to direct contact with enlightened beings requires some self mastery and psychological and emotional competence so that we can stay coherent and clear when we're around beings that look very different to us. So, this is not a fantasy game to mess around with. The return of the Emerald Order means that the Emerald Covenant has been fulfilled. The purpose of the Emerald Covenant is to free humanity and the planet from its oppressors, who are non-human and humanoid invaders from other dimensions and people, who work for the negative alien agenda in AAA. Humanity is in the middle of a strategic war game for control of Earth. Those who are against the Emerald Covenant's promise to lead us to complete freedom are using everything they have to take control with AI machines and try to stop the Emerald Order by starting false flags and world war. So, the Guardian host's main goal is to bring back the Emerald Order. They are coming back to teach humans about our ancient knowledge of our stellar histories and the alien hybridization conflicts we were involved in before we were turned into mind-controlled slaves with no memories so we would forget and be used by the invaders. Angelic humans were originally meant to be the guardians who protected the planetary Templar complex of the Earth Taragaya network, which includes time travel through interdimensional stargates and portals and access to natural ways to get a lot of clean, free energy it's important to remember that the invading species with anti-human goals were already on Earth and had already formed into multiple groups with satanic ritual-based secret society allegiances. They had also deeply infiltrated and secretly taken over every part of human society. There are a lot of controller hierarchies, both on and off planet, but Guardian Host can usually tell them apart by their main goals and their Antichrist origins, which are the Black Sun and Belial Sun groups. These are the main points of the upcoming disclosure timeline, which will be very shocking for most people to recognize and understand. Because of this, the world will need kind, caring people in every industry or field to help rebuild our world. Since the beginning of 2020, 
successive layers of these interdimensional realities that were linked to anti-human agendas run by controller families and giving orders to compartmentalized military intelligence groups that were protecting NAA projects have been found, red-pilled, and then evicted and destroyed. Systematically, these controller family hierarchies are being found and stopped from getting access to their huge amounts of power, wealth, and resources. These resources have been used to keep up underground utopian cities, trafficking tunnels, cloning centers, and genetic biotech laboratories that support secret operations. All of this has been paid for by hard-working people on the surface of the Earth. Those non-human entities can look like they are in a body like a human's, and they have been running anti-human plans with the help of these same groups of human controllers. By using a variety of covert methods, these controllers got into the military, science, medical research, academia, and biotechnology to make sure this information stays hidden while their controlled media sources pump out aggressive mainstream mind control propaganda. Since the 1930s, human scientists and different extraterrestrial species have been working together in secret. They have been doing genetic and technological experiments in secret biolaboratories that are hidden behind corporate storefronts that are paid for by the military complex. With the help of the same non-human entities and their minions, a lot of taxpayer-funded government institutions and non-government organizations are running huge networks of galactic human trafficking. They are also capturing the wealth accumulation and planetary resources for genetic cataloging of the human race and all planetary species. In these high-security biolabs, scientists try out different ways to combine biological forms with different kinds of genetics and nanotechnologies, such as self-sensing materials like carbon nanotubes that can conduct electricity and be programmed remotely from quantum supercomputers. They found that nanobiosensors, which are very small antennas, shrunk down to the nanoscale, can be used to control light and bend it into different wavelengths that can be used to make holographic technology. This is hidden behind a veil of invisibility at the atomic level, where they are looking into completely new ways to control how things behave. Imagine that this nanotechnology is used in conjunction with injections that are forced into the bloodstreams of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Then think about what their real goals are and what they want to happen. So, we should know that the NAA controlling power elite groups took over the military, science, academic, and medical institutions a long time ago to hide the fact that our planet is run by extraterrestrial visitors from different interdimensional levels in the universal time matrix. So people on Earth have been exploited, enslaved, and their minds have been controlled by giving them false and wrong information about many subjects in academic institutions. This includes changing all the information about our ancient human origins and accurate historical timelines. At the same time, non-human entities are methodically tracing organic human genetics and their related solar-factored bloodlines for a large-scale genetic cataloging project. They are also trafficking and abducting people all over the world in a highly organized way. It's important to know that the war against humanity is caused by aliens' plans to mix with humans. These plans have led to several galactic wars in our hidden stellar history, and it's clear that humanity lost the last one. The Black Sun and Belial groups of invaders want to completely destroy the angelic human diamond sun DNA in its original seeded form. Because of this, they want to genetically splice and dice angelic human DNA for consciousness slavery, alien hybrids, and other transhumanist and cloning purposes. All of the mainstream sciences today are based on lies, while the real advanced technologies were hidden from the public in huge underground cities, tunnels, biolabs, and civilizations on other planets. This is done so that people don't find out that the elite controller families are working together with other non-human species to steal and use the fruits of human labor, wealth, resources, 
and technologies to pay for our own extinction. Quantum mechanics and multidimensional physics, which are both accurate sciences, show that it is possible for a cosmic order of consciousness to exist. They also explain interdimensional and extradimensional beings from other worlds. These interdimensional entities or visitors aren't very advanced in terms of higher consciousness levels, but they have access to more advanced technology, such as large AI networks and other machines. This gives them the ability to move their subtle energetic bodies through multiple dimensions of reality and interact with the Earth through consciousness transport and astral projection. Scientists and academics who are successful are used as mouthpieces for the controller establishment. They are trained to make fun of the idea of life on other planets and keep our attention on the 3D material plane of physical reality. Such multidimensional energetic events can be explained and tracked at the quantum level and on many of the interdimensional planes that exist alongside our own. At this point in history, the mainstream fields of science, academia, and the medical system have deeply betrayed and hurt all of humanity. At the heart of that same plan are those who tried to destroy humanity with grotesque lies meant to split people up and make it easier for them to be ruled over. As we rebuild our humane civilization, we need to learn from our mistakes. We can do this by helping each other understand that the invader's plan to use mind control on all humans is the main reason why the world is in such a bad place right now. All humans have been tricked and have suffered a lot because surface humans were sold as consciousness slaves on a prison planet that was controlled by these elite families who were in turn controlled or possessed by NAA entities. We highly appreciate your feedback and would be grateful to receive your valuable insights regarding this video. We encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. Furthermore, to obtain further details, kindly access our website through the links given in the video description. Thanks for watching.